Hi, I'm Elliot, and this is Sammy, and we're going to look at what is XCD. So XCD is short for cross elasticity of demand, which is a measure of how much the quantity demanded of a product changes when there is a change in the price of another product. This is calculated by dividing the percentage change in quantity demanded of one product with the change in price of another product. So what does this mean? Well, it allows us to see the relationship between two different goods. First of all, these goods could be substitutes, goods that satisfy a similar need if they are in competitive consumption, complements, goods which tend to be used together, or goods which are unrelated. So substitutes can be seen if XED is positive, and this means an increase in the price of one product means an increase in the quantity demanded for another product. Also, a decrease in the price of one product could mean a decrease in the quantity demanded of another product. So now let's take a look at examples. If the price of Coke, for example, rises from $1 to $2, then the demand curve for Pepsi will shift to the right, meaning that the quantity demanded of Pepsi will increase from 1 million cans to 1.5 million cans, uh, of course, remaining at the same price. This means that the price has increased by 100% and the quantity demanded of Pepsi has increased by 50%. So if we do 50% over 100% using our equation, we get an XCD of positive 0.5. And since the XCD is positive, we can see that these two products are substitute goods and therefore are in joint consumption. Thus, if the price of one increases, the quantity demanded of the other product will also increase. Next we have complements. If XED is negative, we can see that two goods are complements. So this means that an increase in the price of one product means a decrease in the quantity demanded for another product. This can also mean that a decrease in the price of one product equals an increase in the quantity demanded for another product. And here is an example. So let's look, look at the same example that we had before. Uh, if the price of coke increased to two dollars, then the demand curve for rum will shift to the left, bringing the quantity demanded of rum uh, from one million bottles to 0 0.5 million bottles, which is uh, a negative 50% decrease. And so if we take this negative 50% and we divide it by the 100% increase of coke, we get an XED of negative 0.5. Um, which gives us, uh, which is a negative XED, which shows that the two goods are complementary goods and are in joint consumption. Thus, if the price of one of them increases, the quantity demanded for the other product will decrease. Next, we have the unrelated goods, and this is shown when XED is equal to zero. So, this means that an increase or a decrease in the price of one product causes no change in the quantity demanded for another product. For example, uh, if we're looking at Coke again, if the price of Coke increases, the quantity demanded of rubber duckies will not change. And now we can see some real-world applications to cross-elasticity. And this, this allows firms to calculate revenue from changing prices in different goods so they can determine whether the goods they produce or the goods they're competing with are complementary goods or substitute goods. So there are four possibilities. Either one firm produces two goods and they want to see whether these goods are complements or substitutes and thus alter the price accordingly. Or a firm can analyze their competitors' goods and see how strongly they are related to their own goods. And then, so uh, thank you for listening to our presentation. I'm Elliot, this is Sammy, and uh, we hope you learned a lot about XCD. So let's look at an example. Here we have Coke, which increases in price from $1 to $2, which causes <laughs> a shift. <laughs> $2.